Hi, my name is Robert Arkelishan, and this is the first in a series of uh, video tutorials about PYFLTK. It's a GUI toolkit that uses Python, and it's actually it wraps using Swig the FLTK C++ GUI toolkit. You can see here that C++, uh, sorry, FLTK is a cross-platform GUI toolkit. So let's go over here to PYFLTK, and you can just simply find that you know, on SourceForge. And if, if you just simply Google for PYFLTK, it'll it's the first hit. And let's go over here to download. And here is the maintainer, Andreas Held. So let's download this and let's see if we can compile it. In order to compile PYFLTK, you need FLTK first. But let's get this going before, and I can show you that in a second. So don't grab version 2, grab version 1.12, it's the stable one. So there it is. Grab the source. And we'll save it. Okay. Let's go over here and take a look what we've got. There it is. Let's untar it. Extract verbose with compression the file py. Okay, and now let's go into that directory. And there's an install file there you can see, but I already know how to compile it. Okay, now while this is going and while this is compiling, I'm going to show you a few other things. Uh, in order for this to work, you have to have uh, FLTK. Now, I'll show you how to install FLTK. If you're on Fedora, just simply go yum install. Do this as root. I've already done this, so I'm not root right now, but you just go yum FLTK and FLTK devel. That's what gets it for you on a Fedora based distro. Um, if you're on a Debian, then you would go apt get install again as root or you could just uh, follow it up with a sudo uh, it's a little different it's called lib fltk 1.1 and lib fltk 1.1 dev so that would get you the fltk libraries you'll need in order to compile pyfltk now the reason why we're not getting pyfltk from the repositories is because I don't believe it's currently in the repositories. Let's see how this thing's doing. Not too bad. Um, we've got a few deprecated warnings. Uh, that's not going to be an issue. Let me go and take show you a, a screenshot of the widgets and what they look like. So there you can see some widgets that FLTK produces. It's got quite a variety. And in fact, there's another scheme that's called plastic. I'll show you that one too. Looks similar, kind of has a Mac OS X feel to it. Okay. Hopefully, our compile is just about finished. Yes, it is. Great. Okay. So at this point, um, we'd have to become root and we would just simply install it by going There we go. 
So this is how we installed it as root and this is how we built we uh, compiled it. So that's it. We're done. Um, at this point we should be able to see if it is actually available to use. Now I have to open up a new uh, terminal in order to test this because so that uh, it's recognized. So let's start up Python interpreter and let's see if we can import FLTK. Yes, all right, it worked. You can even take a look at some uh, documentations in the interpreter too. There you go. And you can take a look at some of the classes and there's lots more documentation. However, I will tell you that um, I like to use the documentation uh, that's on the FLTK site here. And we'll get to that in the next tutorial. So, thanks for watching.